Hello, Auxiliar here again, and in today's video, I'm going to overview the recent update, specifically Update 2, for Honey, I Joined a Cult. I will cover what is in the update and my opinion on some of the changes. If you like these kind of videos, press that thumbs up button. If you have a thought, leave a comment below, and please consider subscribing to my channel to be notified of all my upcoming videos. Update 2 was released on March 31st and features a number of in-game user experience changes. The first item being the research tree. There is so many updates and reconfigurations to the research tree to cover them all here, but a couple that popped out right away when first playing the update was the kitchen being moved forward in the research tree to the second column while the research for the Leader Sanctorum room is moved further back and a number of dependent other items you have to research have been added. So let's talk about Divine Inspirations themselves. We have a new layout for the screen itself along with two pathways of which one has to be selected. Darkness or Futurism. Futurism is new with this update. Also, you cannot research items too quick until you get your darkness or futurism rating higher. So no more extra card slots, it appears. This requires you to do the object missions for the Divine Inspirations as the Darkness Altar or Cyber Altar is later in the tree. This means you cannot just blast your way through the mission like before, and this game will take longer to complete. Previously, when I played this game, I could get it done in a little over five hours. This is definitely not happening since Update 2 has been released. I was actually trying to complete this game before making this video, but I thought I better get this video out now as this game was taking longer to complete. With the new Divine Inspiration Futurism Path, we have a few new buildings. I see the update notes say there are six new buildings, but I've been only able to see three. They are Flight Training, Human Testing Facility, and Liquid Chamber. It is the last building I want to talk about a little bit more, the Liquid Chamber. This building is the equivalent of the contract room on the Darkness Divine Inspiration Path, but in this case the follower is immedi immediately liquefied, but the follower, or I should say former follower, is turned into purple ingredients, which can be cooked in the kitchen and turned into food. When a cult member eats this food, they get a plus one rating in all their skills for a set amount of time. While I enjoy the plus one in the skills, turning people into food kind of gives a, off a Soylent Green movie vibe for me. The next item is the new characters in the game. While I have not reached this far in the Divine Inspiration Futurism path, you can see that they are upcoming. And I thought I should mention them here. The new characters are Guy Man, John Mars, and Alan Key. If there is something really out there on the traits of these new characters, or there's some kind of characteristic that's different on these new characters, I will make another video on them. A couple other things to cover is leader requests. I've only gotten a couple of these so far, but your leader will request some items to be placed in the compound, and once complete, you will get positive traits. If they are not complete, you get negative traits. Another item to briefly cover is the new clothes that you can research in the Futurism Divine Inspiration Path. And finally, missions are a little more difficult, as the difficulty level to match up is a little higher, so you're going to need better quality cult members to complete those missions or lean on your covert ops room a little bit more. That is all for this video. 
For a complete list of items updated and fixes, check out the game's website or Steam page. And if you have not bought this game already, I recommend you do so. It is well worth it. I am having plenty of fun with this game for hours on end. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have questions or thoughts on the game or this update, leave a comment below and please consider subscribing so that you're notified of all my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.